Oh, question. If you travel once a year, how do you keep your audience from not unsubscribing or not like leaving you? Good question. So I had the same conversation actually with a, uh, I had a consulting call and ultimately what my number one advice for them was to do is there's two things. They can either become a traveler within their local domain. Maybe that means you're doing road trips within your province and you're becoming the Quebec specialist. You're sharing with people, you know, more detailed information because you can't, you, you have to get detailed. I mean, you're only working with one area. So maybe yeah. it's like one video is the top 10 coffee shops, the top 10 poutine shops, the top 10 waterfalls or parks and, and you know, areas. You can build an entire um, specialization on one province. And that's actually more than enough. You can build a business right there because not only are you more valuable to your audience that way, but you're actually more valuable to brands too. Because what you need to realize is when advertisers come to Los LeBlanc, one of the biggest predicaments they have is like, well, I have a budget that's sizable, but I don't want to target people in Korea, in Indonesia, in the Philippines. They don't want to target people in Germany or they don't want to target people in Liechtenstein. But uh -huh. Blanc by nature is a very global brand. So I have a friend whose name is Brett Conti. He actually took a bit of a different approach. He's been building a very New York focused audience. And while his numbers, um, I mean, this year he's doing exceptionally well, but let's go back to last year. Last year, he, he didn't have the same numbers. He was getting, you know, maybe a quarter to even a fifth of the views I was getting, he was charging the same amount on a brand deal as I was. So that's a long story, long way of saying that by focusing on one area, you're more valuable to your, your viewers, your viewers know what to expect from you, and you're more valuable to brands, advertisers, and to yourself. You could create a, like a Quebec guide for $19 where you have you know some sort of paywall that you then sell more detailed information. Now, to, to not get too deep into it. Answer number two is you basically could become a face of travel where you use uh, travel stories and you basically do research on cool things that happen around the world. And you kind of like use a green screen to narrate and explain like, you know, in the remote islands of Alor in Indonesia is a tribe of people that basically live underwater because there's these yeah. people that literally, they, they free dive to like insane depths. So that's actually a trip I want to do soon. But that's kind of like another style where you don't actually have to be the one on the road. Um, so two different models. Those are ways you can make it work. And then when the time comes right, let's say your situation in life changes or you've had success in your business, that's when you can start pivoting. Maybe you're now doing Ontario, Canada as a whole or North America as a whole. Or maybe you're just, you know, using that key audience to move into a totally new space. I, of course, you're going to lose some of those core audience members, but you will still be in a far better place than the person that's just starting from scratch. Because when people subscribe, usually it's not just, I like his information. It's like, I connect with him and I want to see more. I want to see what he does next. So for Lost LeBlanc, it's like, I'm building a villa and then I'm traveling and then I'm doing all these things. And while they are quite disconnected in nature, the thing that makes them interesting to the viewer is that they're connected by me. So yeah. if you can get to a place where you're that central link to anything that you do, then you've built yourself a really good business and yeah. a rewarding one too. Cool. I'm going to open you. up the next question to another Christian. Hey guys. I'm a fan of Christian the since 2016. <laughs> hey, 